Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 5.8 from Sadiku book. So the question is obtain V0 for each of the op M circuit in figure 5.47. So here is the circuit for problem A and here is the circuit for problem B. Okay, maybe let's take a note uh, first that an op M will have uh, equal voltage in its terminal. So we will have an op m like this so if it's ideal we have not a and not b here we will have va is equal to vb and then we also have the current that goes into the op m let's name this ia and let's name this ib that also be the same so we will have ia is equal to ib but also we know the value of IA and AB which is 0 ampere. Okay. And this is for ideal of M. Okay. Maybe let's do the question A first. Question A. Uh, we have this of M here. And let's set this as our ground. So the voltage here will be 0. And because this is connected to the positive terminal of op m the voltage here will be also zero okay now let's name this node here as node a we will have pa is equal to the other terminal here so we will have pa is equal to zero but we can also do kcl at pa by assuming the current direction first so we will have this one here Okay, KCL at node VA. So let's do that. KCL at node VA. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, the current that goes in is only from this current source, which is 1 milliampere. So we will have 1 milliampere on the left hand side. And then the other currents are going out. This is goes into the op M. So the value will be 0. So we'll have 0 there. And then plus we will have PA here. So we'll have PA minus V0. V0 will be the one that we are looking for divided by 2 kilo ohm. Okay, now let's simplify this. We will have 1. 0 plus something is just that something. So I will have this only. But then VA is 0. So I will have 0 minus V0 divided by 2. Okay, let's cross multiply. So I will have 2 is equal to minus V0. Or V0 here is equal to minus 2 volt. Okay, that is the answer for the first problem which is the circuit of the point A. Okay, maybe let's clean up the board to get more space. Okay, so far we got P0 for problem A. Now let's move on to problem B. Okay, this is the ground so the voltage here will be 0. And then here we have 1 volt voltage source. So this node here is 1 volt from the ground. So this is 1 volt. Okay. And then the consequences of that. This node here also 1 volt. Right. Okay. Now what can we do from here? Uh, we can find out the not here it has to be 2 volt lower than this 1 volt here so we will have 1 minus 2 1 minus 2 will be minus 1 volt here okay so this is minus 1 volt and this is v0 okay let's assume the direction of the current so here i will assume this is going there and here i will assume that going there so we can do KCL at node V0. Okay, KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in 
will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The current that goes in is this one. So we will have minus 1 minus P0 divided by that. And then that will equal to P0 minus 0 divided by 2. Okay. I think we can multiply both sides here by 10. Okay, 10 and 10 will cancel each other. So I will have minus 1 minus P0 here. And then 2 and 10 will cancel into 5. So I will have 5 P0. Okay, now let's solve it for P0 maybe. So I will have minus 1. That will equal to 6 P0. Therefore, V0 will be minus 1 over 6. And the unit will be fold or in decimal, I think that will be minus 1, minus 0, sorry. Minus 0, point one six 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 seven volt. Or we can write it in millivolt, V0 is minus uh one six six point sixty seven and the unit here will be millivolt. Okay, I think that's all for this problem. So the answer is minus two volt for problem A and then minus one hundred and sixty six point sixty seven for problem B. And that's all for problem five dot eight. Hopefully this will help you to solve this problem. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.